Hello and welcome to another how-to video for Mr. Sal's classes. This video will go over and explain how to get to certain websites we'll be using in class. I'm making it spe specifically for my honors freshmen, kids coming in from 8th grade into 9th grade, but also any of my uh, seniors or juniors that have never had me before, is, or you may have had me, this is a good reminder and to see where all the resources are located. Um, so please follow along with the video and refer to this anytime you need help accessing things. Um, important class sites that you guys will be accessing. Um, the class wiki is at mrsal.wikispaces.com. This is for class notes and projects will be posted there. There's also another wiki linked off that for more student projects. I post all students' work, um, that they, the projects they create online so they build a nice digital portfolio to use. We also have a class blog at mrsalsclasses.edublogs.org. Same thing. The uh, students who each have their own individual blog. It'll be linked from the class blog to that site. Um, helps students become good digital citizens and build a, um, a digital resume they can use for colleges or employers later in life. The district's Edmodo domain is located at nbsd.edmodo.com. When you go into ed the Edmodo Online Classroom, please log in from there. That way we can go in and adjust your password or find your password and username. Um, even if you don't have us for class, all the teachers or administrators, we can help you out if you need help with that. Also look for the student podcasts. They are available on iTunes. Student projects are available there um, you know, to peruse. The next set of we uh, websites, my website for school is mrsalvucci.com. I have updates for parents and just general information there. My blog is mrsal.edublogs.org. Uh, you can find articles about techie things uh, and projects we're doing in class just to get a feel as to what's going on. And for all the free tools used in class, go to dsalvucci.wikispaces.com. I have links and directions there for all the free tools we use in class. If you're interested in technology, you can follow me on Twitter at dsalvucci. Also look for my podcasts. They are available on iTunes also. Um, and I try and interact with parents as much as possible and get information to you so you know what's going on in my classroom. A few other things you need to know. I'm not big on worksheets. I don't really give out worksheets to do. Uh, it means no busy work, which is down here in the bottom right-hand corner. Everything we do in class is for a purpose. I do a lot of projects. We also work with a lot of primary resources. I'm jumping around the screen here to see if you could follow along with me. reason why we use primary resources, um, it's important for the kids to see information, um, firsthand accounts of, of events and information, and draw conclusions from there. Uh, we do have iPads for the class, and many classes are allowed to BYOD or bring your own device with permission from parents and from myself that can be revoked throughout the year if you're misusing devices. I'm very big on collaboration. Um, students need to work together in the workforce nowadays. You're not working in isolation, you're working with others. It's a good skill to have. I'm also big on creativity and thinking. I don't like you just finding keywords in a book and writing them down on paper. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't teach you anything. You don't learn anything. Also, please utilize all available resources. There will be a ton of things pushed out in Edmodo, a lot of information given to you. Use them. It's not how hard you work. It's how well you work. That's the important thing, how well you work. If you work well, um, you'll do okay in here. If you do the minimum, maybe not do so well. And most importantly, ask questions. If you're not sure of something, ask me. I'm in the hall. I have bus duty in the morning. Um, if you don't want to say anything in class or talk to me in person, send me a direct message via Edmodo. Send me an email. Ask questions. If you don't ask questions, I may not realize that you have them. So feel free to ask. There's no such thing as a stupid question or a silly question. Just ask. And that pretty much wraps us up. Thank you for watching. I hope it was helpful. Talk to you later.